Well, we will continue our journey through non-parametric analysis, and in this video we will examine the Mann Whitney U, which is probably the most common non-parametric uh, test for examining one variable differences in one variable across two groups. The Mann Whitney U test, of course, is a non-parametric test, and it tests the null hypothesis that two populations are the same against the alternate hypothesis that the two populations are not the same. When you write research questions for the Mann Whitney U, they are written exactly like they were for a t-test. Uh, the Mann Whitney U looks for difference, and and the question would be, do differences exist in the variable across? the two groups. So you just have to work that out. The null hypothesis being that no differences exist, the alternate being that differences do exist. So the Man whitney U is, is going to closely parallel uh, the design of the t-test in your research questions and in your hypotheses. I will not review those again because you can just simply go out and watch the video on the t-test, which I think is a NOVA uh, either one or two. In, in, the, in the YouTube videos. The Man whitney U test will allow us to examine non-normally distributed and ordinal data sets to make comparisons between the two groups of interest. Uh, the fact that it will allow us to examine ordinal is very important. Not just that they're non-normally distributed, but we can look at ordinal data as well. Many fields will take ordinal data that they've obtained from a survey or something else and, and they have it in a Likert scale, and then they'll go do a t-test to see if the two groups differ. Well, that, that, I guess, can be defended. Many say that that's acceptable. But the safest position, instead of doing a t-test on those two data, is to do a man whitney U test so that you're, you're not assuming that they're normally distributed and that you're allowing that they're ordinal data. I remind you that ordinal data can be ratio data and can be interval data because ratio and interval are special cases of ordinal data. The assumptions for the Man whitney U test are as follows. All observations from both sets are independent of each other and the dependent variables are at least ordinal. Now many researchers say the distributions of both groups are equivalent. I, I don't know about that when I put it here. That's what you're actually testing. Now, we will move into SPSS and demonstrate for you the methodology for conducting a Man whitney U test. Here we are back in the data set that I created. Now, I want to point out to you, since we're only comparing two, uh, I went out and, and what I did is I did away with group three because we're only going to compare two in our group with the Man whitney U, which compares across two groups, and our variable that we're going to look at is this percent of students uh, 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 support uh, revenue uh, or, or expenditures as a percentage of whole uh, that uh, are out there. So let's go to analyze and we will go to the non-parametric test. We will go to independent samples. Now, my since I've already run this, it skipped one field for you. Sometimes it comes in and it asks you to define uh, your data sets. You could have it scan it and do it automatically. Uh, if, if you don't, if, if you choose not to, then these three here are at least ordinal. Uh, the student support, you know, you could put up, they're, at least, they're continuous. Uh, the group would be your nominal, and you would define that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize my analysis. Then I'm going to go to my fields, and I'm going to do student support, and I'm going to compare it across the groups, and then my settings. Uh, I'm going to customize my test. Now, there's a lot of things I can do. All I'm going to run right now is the Man whitney U on the two samples to see if the populations are the same. You can actually uh, do a couple of tests in here. You can uh, uh, go in and you can do a median test where you compare the medians across the groups. Uh, you can go in and do, do compare the range across the groups if you choose to. I just simply didn't do that. I tell it to run, and remember our null hypothesis is that no differences exist, and our alternate hypothesis is that differences do exist. So we get this result back, and it says the percent distribution of, of percent student support is the same across categories of the group. That was our null hypothesis. Now, 
Another way of wording it is that no differences exist, the alternate being that differences exist. Our null hypothesis no difference exists. Our significance on the man Whitney U is 0.025. We reject the whole null hypothesis. Our null hypothesis was that no differences exist. We reject that null hypothesis, and therefore we establish that these differences do exist, and therefore these are not the same populations. And the significant level was set at 0.05. Isn't that cool? You've just done a man Whitney U and compared the variable of the percent of expenditures and student services as a port of whole across the two groups comparing to two-year degree granting of public community colleges in Texas to the public two-year degree granting public uh, community colleges in Oklahoma. They are not the same in the percents that they spend on student support. Now, if you wanted to uh, figure out now that you know they're different, which is the largest, then what you would need to do is you would need to run your descriptives. And, and in order to run your descriptives, you would just have to go up and do some analysis. All right, let's move forward. Thank you very much for your support. Uh, it's been real interesting looking at the man Whitney you. I always appreciate the fact that you've entrusted me with, uh, with your brain, that I might share with you knowledge. I remind you that I'm not the final expert in anything. There are people who agree and people who disagree with me. If they disagree with me, let them build their own videos that explain it. I just do the best I can. May the odds be ever in your favor. I've enjoyed sharing the Man Whitney test with you.